Hey yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy Nori back with a banger for y'all today and today I'm coming at y'all with a walk back tutorial but before we hop into that, I gotta let you know that it's mandatory to sell the Nori Maker. Drop a sub and like on this video before the vid even starts. Alright, now this is a glitchy dribble move that was uh it came out in next gen honestly 2k21 i've been doing this move since 2k21 next gen it just so happened that now that it's encouraging everybody posting it everywhere on tiktok and everything so i thought why not bring the tutorial to youtube and give it a little bit more in depth while me talking rather than rather than y'all just listen to the little siri voice you feel me all right so for those of y'all that don't know what the walk back is i'm gonna go ahead and insert some clips of me doing it here go right here All right, now that y'all saw those clips and y'all understand what the whole purpose of the walk back is and why it's so glitchy, let me go ahead and show y'all how to do it. Well, first things first, uh, for my build, if y'all don't know my build, you can go watch my build video, but I got an 85 ball handling. But the good thing about this is that your SIGs and your ball handling does not matter for this move. I literally play with a P-Lock who is my brother who don't got no dribble moves, no nothing. He still do it. Play with a stretch, he do it. All type of stuff like that you feel me so all i'm gonna do is go to the shoot around and show you how to do it it's simple and easy i'm not gonna stretch this video longer than it needs to be you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get straight to the point and you know what i'm saying now the whole purpose of the walk back is to appear like you going to the goal and then walk backwards you see how fast i just walk back now i can shoot off of that but another plus for it is that i can speed boost out of it straight to the goal and i can go ahead and dunk that you know what i'm saying so for anybody to do this move, it'll be useful. Even if you're a stretch, if you're a, a glass cleaner finisher and you do it, just because you can speed boost out of it and still go ahead and dunk it, you feel me? So this move can either, either get you a three or get you a dunk with ease. So the first thing you wanna, know, uh, you wanna do is simply just hold your left stick back. You don't hold it straight back, you hold it like diagonal towards the ball, that's it down and towards the ball and you literally just start walking back real fast there's no there's no like extra stuff you gotta do don't hold r2 uh, a lot of people make the mistake of holding r2 and wonder why they can't do it you simply just hold your left stick back and towards the ball just a little bit towards the ball and you're gonna do a walk back now the way that you speed boost out of it is you do the walk back and then you just run forward like this move is so easy to do and it's so glitchy that's why i love to do the move simply because i don't have a six four guard like everybody else so when i dribble the ball i do all the glitchiest moves i'll bring y'all dribble tutorial soon but i don't do none of the little uh momentum no more i don't do momentum no more i simply just do straight speed boost moves and all types of moves that are just give me wide open off the rip and stuff like that you feel me now like i said anybody can do this move so when you do the move all you have to all you have to do is understand that when you walk back you have to shoot it immediately or the person in front of you is going to run and jump so if you walk back from like all the way up here if you walk back from all the way up here the person that's guarding you is going to catch up to you but if you drive right here to like the free throw line and back up you got a wide open three majority of the time now this this move is getting popularized so eventually people are gonna start guarding but for as of patch one day three you Gucci, I promise you, you're going to be good. Every time you do the move, you're going to be good. You just hit somebody like that, and you're going to be wide open to shoot it. But like I said, I don't want to stress this video any longer than it has to be. If this was a good tutorial, go ahead and let me know down below in the comment section. Um, like I said, the move is real easy to do. It's just a glitchy move because how fast you get to back up, you end up wide open, and plus you can speed boost out of it. So either they got to play up on your three-point shot, or you're going to speed boost right around them and get the dunk. Like I said... It's not much for it's not much for me to talk about considering the move is that easy to do. But like I said, let me know in the comment section did I explain it good enough for y'all to understand. And uh, if you did watch to the end of the video, 
go ahead and let me know your favorite cereal man let, let me know your favorite cereal in the comment section below uh like i said it's been your boy nori and uh i'm out